Welcome guys to five impossible fills that sound hard because they are. So to keep this video short and fun and entertaining, I'm just gonna play the fill, I'm gonna slow it down, and then I'm gonna link a video lesson to all of these in the description. So if you wanna learn all these fills in more detail, check out those videos from other creators and support them as well. So uh, let's dive in. Here's that intro fill slowed down. Song is slow, fill is fast, conceptually tough to grasp. <laughs> you, get, you guys get the idea. But seriously, playing this way under tempo was super challenging. The Lamb of God! <coughs> oh God. This one's a little bit tricky because there's a tempo change right when the fill starts and Chris uses it to transition from one speed to the next. So you have to be very confident in your entrance when you approach this guy. Make sure you memorize the sticking at the start of the fill and then it's just some quads between the hands and the feet. Uh, at least that's what it looks like Adler's playing in this video of him doing it live. Okay, so thank God clicky bass drums were a thing of 2005. So the Rev comes in with a 16th note pattern on the feet, but he's also playing a little uh, lick in 3-4 on the hands. And it's really challenging because it sounds like triplets, but it's not. The hardest part for me on this one was the run coming out of the fill, going back into the groove at the end. It's really fast. Uh, it's just a fast 16th note triplet pattern around the toms. That's a personal weakness of mine. But uh, I actually transcribed this fill uh, for all my patrons because I couldn't find a good lesson on it. So if you guys are interested in that, check out my Patreon page. This song, damn it, I cannot tell you guys how many takes I did until I finally got one that I was like, you know, the least bit satisfied with. And I still wasn't able to capture the fluidity and like the feel that Pridgen has on this tune. So I hope you guys dig it. Um, and I'll be, I'll still be working on this one uh, even after this video comes out. Uh, there's a creator that already transcribed this fill, which I used to learn it. So check out the link in the description if you want to try this beast on your own.
Ah uh, yes, the the famous drum track from my childhood. Um, I read in forums somewhere that this was actually two tracks overdubbed, which means that Alex likely played one bass drum pattern with his feet and then re-recorded another bass drum pattern on top of that to get the final sound. And I think what really backs this up is that when you watch these guys play live, he starts with the China crash part and skips the entire like floor tom bass drum intro. So we, we as listeners have been left with like, you know, this feeling of like, how did he do that? And we have to find ways to adapt and create our own fun way to mimic this fill. Dromeo has a great lesson of this if you want to try and learn it. I preferred to play more of the notes on the feet because I felt like it was more natural for me. But if you want to do more work on the hands, go right ahead. They did an awesome version, an awesome lesson teaching you guys how to do that. So let me know in the comments how you think Alex played this beast and let's figure it out once and for all. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please leave suggestions below of more fills you would like to see done. I, you know, I could keep doing these videos forever. They're so fun. They're so, they're so challenging. I'd like to give a huge shout out to all my patrons. You guys are awesome. You keep me fed. You keep me alive. Uh, Nikki and I will be moving into a new house this month. So thank you guys for all the support and love and everything that you throw my way. I'll be back with some more memes for you next week. And I can't wait to see you guys then.